welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're joining us for the first time my name is T and this is my channel Crumpusy and Sewing in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the Berta Style 6252 pattern it is a pattern of a, a cute little uh, skirt and you have two different variations and I'll tell you all the deets on that uh, first I just wanted to say real quickly that this is a pattern that I made um, to go with an outfit so I made a jacket to go with this as well and the jacket that I chose is the Simplicity S8890 and it was a collaboration that I did with someone over on Instagram named Angie and her handle is Angie Denise underscore boutique. So if you want to check her out, I'll put her information in the description box below and you can go over and check her out. So about this pattern, this is a very easy pattern. It's rated as an easy pattern for advanced beginners. It has two different variations of a skirt. The fabric choices are cotton um, type fabrics. So you are looking for anything in the light to medium weight category. You can choose a denim, a viscose, a rayon, um, or a corduroy. And I decided to go with the corduroy fabric for this particular project. I purchased the corduroy fabric from Mood Fabrics. Unfortunately, it's no longer available. At the time that I purchased this, this was about two or three months ago. When I purchased this, they had a lot in stock. They, um, the order, when it first came in, it was like a, over 100 yards. And I kid you not, about three weeks later, three or four weeks later, it was gone. And it's no longer reorderable on their site. So unfortunately, I know this is a really yummy, delicious looking fabric. I've had so many different comments on it and so many different people uh, messaging me about the fabric. But unfortunately, it's no longer available. So um, I decided to go with... Um, so. It has two different variations. So you have a kind of like a mini type skirt and then you have a really long uh, skirt that is basically an ankle length skirt. Um, and it's kind of weird that they don't have a variation that's in the middle <laughs> considering there are two uh, drastic um you know, the, the lengths are just drastically different from one another. Um, so it's kind of weird that they don't have an option on the pattern pieces so that you can select like a third option. But anyway, I created my own horizontal line in between views A and B, and I just uh, drafted a line and I made a knee length skirt instead because I didn't want a mini skirt and I didn't want a really long um, ankle skirt either. So that's what I did. You also have two different pocket variations. You have a really large pocket for view A that gets placed on the front of the skirt on the left and the right of the front skirt. And then you also have a choice with view B. Um, they have slanted pockets there and the pockets are also oversized. It reminds me of the lander pants. If you all remember the lander pants that I made uh, this uh, past fall, but the pocket actually gets, so the top of the pocket actually gets sewn into uh, it's sandwiched in, in between the waistband and the skirt. And so the pocket's actually sewn in inside the waistband. So I really like that particular detail as well. The pocket also has a tab detail. Now the tabs, um, actually, they're not functional. So it's, I was under the impression that you can actually use the tabs as like belt loops and you can actually put a belt inside of the tabs. That's not the case. They're purely decorative <laughs> and they're not really functional because the position because of the position of the tabs uh it would be really awkward for you to put a belt way below the waistline like you know where the tabs or the carriers usually go it's about two or three inches below that so it's really weird it's in an awkward place but it's mostly just for decoration the the um closure for the garment is um going to be buttons and buttonholes so it just depends on which view you choose. Uh, view A calls for five buttons and view B calls for nine buttons. Now, obviously I did a knee length skirt, so my button choice isn't on here or the, the amount of buttons that I needed isn't on here. So I actually um, needed seven buttons for my project. So that's what I did. So in terms of pattern pieces, you have the front skirt and the back skirt, both are cut twice. You also have uh, the pocket piece. So you could choose, like I said, from view A or view B. And then you have your tabs. Now with your tabs, you're cutting those out eight times. Now, if you double your fabric, you're only cut, cutting those tabs out four times, but you do need eight tabs. And um, there are four tabs total that go on the skirt. And so each tab that you create, you're using two pieces of fabric. So that's why you need eight, um, eight pieces of fabric for your tabs. And then um, lastly, you have your waistband piece. So you have a front waistband and also a back waistband. Now, um, I believe it's your front waistband is cut out. I think each one is cut out four times because you need, um, no. So your back is actually cut on fold. So you only need 
two waistbands for your back piece and then your front waistband you're cutting out four because you are cut you're cutting out your waistband as well as your facing the pattern also calls for interfacing for the waistband. Now this is where it got a little bit tricky for me with the corduroy, um, just simply because I chose a medium weight fabric. The corduroy was um, quite, uh, it wasn't hard to work with, but for the project for the jacket, it was quite challenging. And that's the Mimi G jacket, the um, S8890 that I told you about. And, I'll, um, and you'll see a video of that on Wednesday. And so you'll learn more about um, my complications with that. And, um, and my thoughts on that. But as far as the skirt, um, the only complication I really had with the skirt was when I was sewing the tabs in place. And I'll go ahead and put a video in here so you can see what those tabs look like and what I'm talking about. Um, those tabs, um, there, is a, there is a point in the project where you are going to be um, sewing at least two to three layers of fabric to get, actually, sorry, three to four layers of fabric together. So that's where it gets a little bit um, uh, tricky because you have to go ahead and um, top stitch those tabs in place. And at the same time, you're pivoting. And so working with this thick fabric and also pivoting and turning in the machine can be quite tricky and quite um, of a daunting task, especially if um, you have a home machine. So I have the Singer, the heavy duty, and this machine actually is a beast. It actually can handle up to six layers of fabric, and in some cases, even seven and eight layers of fabric. So um, I was fortunate to be able to get through the project, but again, that, that pivoting is what um, really kind of threw me off um, during certain sections of the project with the skirt and with the jacket, just because of how much uh, fabric I was handling. But other than that, it was very easy. The instructions are uh, pretty easy to read and very simple. However, like with, you know, most of the time with the with the Berta commercial patterns, I don't know much about the magazine patterns, but the, with these patterns, sometimes um, they don't have like um, a lot of instructions. And being as though this is a pattern that is easy and also um, rated for advanced beginners, I would like to see a little bit um, more in the way of instructions, but it's not anything that you can't get through. Uh, the only thing that I would caution is if you've never sewn, um, buttonholes before, make sure that you practice, 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 especially if you're choosing this longer view that has nine buttonholes. Um, as far as sizes, the pattern goes, um, from European size 34 to 44 and for us is eight to 18. Now I selected, originally I selected a size, uh, 16. And the pattern doesn't really tell you um, on the waistband um, what the finished measurements are for that. Uh, so I just kind of guessed and I also, I did some measuring with the measuring tape and to see like where I would fit. And that size 16 just did not work for me. Um, so I had to go down to a size 12 actually. And so, um, and I would, I would, I would say based on my measurements that it is somewhere between a 30 and a 31 for the, um, for the, the waist and for the hips, uh, probably around like a 41 or 42 because I am a 40.5 and I don't have a whole lot of room of ease in that hip area, but I have enough that I can walk. So it would probably be around a 42 for the hip area. Um, so yeah, this is a really simple, easy make. Uh, you could definitely make this um, within a weekend, uh, maybe, you know, two, three hours or whatever. How It just depends on how fast you are and um, and where your skill level is. But it's definitely an easy pattern. I definitely recommend this pattern. It's a really nice um, pattern for advanced beginners. Like if you're coming out of that beginner stage, this would be a perfect pattern to start with in the advanced beginner category. Um, the only... Um, suggestion that I would give is just make sure that you choose your fabric uh, wisely. If you are an advanced beginner and you are not experienced with working with um, heavier or medium weight fabrics, don't choose a, co a corduroy fabric. Um, I would choose something more on uh, like um, maybe like a lightweight denim or a lightweight corduroy, maybe a featherweight corduroy. If you really are like hung up on getting a corduroy, I would get maybe a me uh, um, lightweight corduroy. What I chose is a medium weight corduroy. And so um, I, I would not choose that for this project again. Um, they also call for cotton fabrics as well. So any kind of cotton fabric would be really nice for this project, I think, because um, cotton tends to be a little bit on the lighter end, uh, just depending on what kind of cotton that you're you're working with. But maybe a cotton blend or something like that, something it would be really cute in a cotton blend, I think, or like a lightweight shirting, shirting denim. Um, very cute. So anyway, that is my, um, my um, review of this. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed making this. Uh, oh, the last thing I wanted to say is, oh, the hem. It has a really nice generous hem on it. And I think it's like a one inch hem. Um, I did a one and a quarter inch hem just because I wanted 
a little bit wider for this particular style. You all know I usually like really um, narrow hems, but for this particular style, I thought it would be really nice and cute to have that wide hem. So um, that's what I did for this one. Uh, but that's my review. I enjoyed the pattern. I know it sounds like I didn't, but I really did. I enjoyed the pattern. It's a really cute pattern. Um, the only thing is, is I would choose a different type of fabric next time. But I hope you enjoyed the review. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications of all my videos when I post them. All right, everyone, I can't wait until Wednesday until you can see my review of the Miji S8890 pattern, um, which is which features this jacket right here. And I'm really excited to share with you all of the details on that. All right, until next time, everyone, stay creative. Bye. <laughs>